Have okay. a good day. Good. Is my game gonna load or is it gonna crash? Oh, no. Oh, I might have been up. I'm going to pull upstairs. You'll fall asleep. Yeah, You'll be snoring before I get up there. <laughs> oh no, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> Welcome back to some supermarket simulator. Sorry, I'm running late. It's, uh, got home a little bit later than what I was expecting to. And it wouldn't let me edit it from my phone. Uh, like I tried to change the time and it wouldn't let me edit it. It was a pain. But I hope everyone's having a good one. And uh, back into the game and see where we're at. We can now close tills, which is really, really nice, which is going to be handy. Apparently, we can uh, now go in and open and close our checkouts. Beautiful. I like that. That was That's awesome. So we can now do that when we need to. Right, what have we got here? Let's see how oh, we are. We are in the on the ropes here, spaghetti. Oh well, we have no money. We are on the ropes. Let's get it. There we go. Let's open up. Let's close our till to begin with. We'll jump on it if we need to. Let's take a look. Oh, we're eggs. We're very very sure of. Plenty of toilet roll, plenty of potatoes. Uh, spaghetti, we've got loads on the shelf, but we need some for storage. How's it going, Shane? Yes, I've, uh, I haven't actually had a chance to get on anything. I took my daughter to a theme park today for her uh, for a birthday trip out, so I've uh, not actually managed to get in anywhere. Welcome to the Discord, though, Shane. Right, let me quickly... Send a message. Yours was last Wednesday. Nice. I hope you had a good one. Mm -hmm. It was there. Uh, It wouldn't let me edit it from my phone to like edit the time. I was trying to edit the time on my phone, but it just weren't having none of it for some reason. YouTube being YouTube, I suppose. There we go, put my phone on charge, there we go. Right, now we can get down to some serious business. I hope you had a good birthday, Shane. I hope it was uh, all good. Right, now we've got some market. Ooh, um. Oh, it was, it's been an absolute nightmare. It won't actually, at the minute, let me edit my streams on YouTube. Or even through my dashboard. But it used, it was letting me do it through the YouTube studio app. But today it just wouldn't let me do it. It's been a been a bit of a nightmare at the minute with uh, the YouTube YouTube app. But okay, I overordered there. <laughs> right, so we need some kegs. One, two, three, four. Don't have enough money. Yeah, it could be an update.
Speaking of updates, we've had a cheeky one on the old uh, supermarket soon where we can actually close our checkouts. Now we can actually use our checkouts and people should prioritise using empty lanes. Which is quite nice. And we can close our checkout from here. Which is which is really cool. <laughs> you got, got to try and get a cheeky segue in. Hopefully we can make some money today and get towards some updates. Just make that way a little bit. Oh, we got no bleach. Yeah, people should begin to prioritise empty tills that obviously aren't already in queue. So. I accidentally closed the checkout. Oh, the checkout's a full. Let's open this one up. That's a new one. I've never, ever seen someone complain that the checkout's a full. Nice. Yeah, that's, uh, that's quite cool. I need automatic lates is what I need. Yeah, I wish I could charge you that. <laughs> right, I have to turn the lights on. Sorry. It's getting dark. Couldn't see. Exact change. That's what I like. Yeah, I see that, Shane. That, that's that's a great way of actually like progressing your store. So obviously, at higher levels, you need the cash to be coming in. To be progressing. Which is really, really nice. So, hopefully, because we, we're level 50, hopefully we're, like, our store should be pretty full. Right, we need more lights over here. Boom. I'm waiting for the restockers update where they take stuff from outside the store and restock your storage. Because that, that will save so much time and give you so much more like, freedom to do stuff. I need to make, buy eggs. Yeah, I think I think that the, the progression level that it's going to change a lot, which is really really nice. Like you're going to push to get to the higher levels to make more money. <laughs> oh, I like the fact that then that they're now allowing you uh, the chance to do stuff like that. Uh, we need bleach. One, two, three, 
four, five, six. Right, uh, we'll order that. That'll be our first order of the day. We can't do it till after 9 p.m. We can't do it because it's after 9 p.m., sorry. But I hope everyone's having a good time. I hope everybody's had a good start to their Easter weekend and no one's having to work. Oh, we need bleach. We need cleaner. We need... Peanut butter and milk. Some oil. We need some more potatoes. We need some more chips. We definitely need more kegs. We need more vodka. We need a light. We need more. We we'll definitely order more lights. It's dark up in here. Like illumination in fridges would be quite a good idea. Oh, Jay, I bet she's good. Uh, I'm off now until Tuesday, so it's all good. <laughs> I bet she is. Oh, I've got to do prices. Right, let me uh, order this. Bang. Bang. No, I, I'm lucky. I don't work any bank holidays. Really, really nice. Didn't work any bank holidays. So I get Christmas guaranteed, Easter guaranteed. Which is really nice because that's obviously family time. Although I am getting up and going fishing tomorrow. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, I wasn't going fishing tomorrow. I was going to go and uh, buy some bits from the local go outdoors. But they're shut, so. Easter and Christmas like, seem to be the only days retail workers get off. But I do feel sorry for people working in retail. It's uh, awful at the minute. Where I'm glad I don't work in retail. I just play it on the computer. <laughs> I'm a It's uh, much easier.
Now I took the opportunity today to let my hair down, what little of, uh, little of it I've got. Was uh, good fun and well needed. Yeah, this is it. Like it, you don't get any of that anymore. You don't. You don't get that break as a. We we've gone very much to the European side, like where everything's open all the time. And that like we do continental shifts, like it's it's awful. Well, I tell a lie. I don't do continental. I work Monday to Friday. Because I refuse to work weekends now. <laughs> yeah, growing up as a kid, like, the shops were never open on a Sunday. Like, the, the only ones that ever opened on a Sunday were, like, your little corner shops. They were, they were, like, the foods, like, big food stores and stuff weren't ever open oh I wouldn't ever go back to shift work again not unless I was absolutely you know dire straight had no other option whatsoever on the planet then then I'd do it again but I wouldn't voluntarily go back to shift work not in a million years hated every second of it made me really really like really ill <laughs> I was constantly tired i was angry all the time like my mental health was what mental health <laughs> it was in the toilet mate like big time like never again they, they've proven it they drastically shortened your lifespan like, drastically. Like, never in a million years will, will I uh, go back to that. Not unless I've like, got no other option on the planet. Or they play, pay me an absolute buck ton of money. Like, they have to pay me a lot to go back to shift work. Tuna. Now I must admit that the Monday to Friday permanent days, none of this night shift stuff, it's just so much better for. Your, your, your mentality. Like, I know every Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to chill out. I haven't got to, like, swap my, my brain's thought process patterns. It's one set pattern every day, day in, day out. Like, I know what time I'm getting up. I know... What day is what? Is 
that was another thing, like losing track of days all the time and never actually knowing what day of the week it was. Nightmare. Nightmare fuel. Oh mate, this what the sleep what sleep that you know what I mean? It was awful. Never been able to sleep, your body waking you up at like two AM because you got so used to eating like that for four days. So you'd been eating at like two AM for for four days, so then your body was waking you up for for three or four days after at two AM to wanna eat and yeah, it's not good for you at all, man. It's like proper messes with you in a big way. I hated every second of it. Like, now, I've got such a routine, like, guaranteed... I can go to bed now. I'll wake up at 6 a.m., check my phone, roll over, go back to sleep. Like when I haven't got to get up. Like, but guaranteed, 6 o'clock, or about two or three minutes to 6, I'll, I'll wake up, roll over, check my phone, see what the time is, roll over, go back to sleep. Like, it's that. Having that pattern. It's lovely. Like, I... I could not go back to shift work. Like I say, I'd, I would go back to shift work if I had no other choice, but... There would literally have to be no other choice for me to do it. Right, I'm going to close my till. Get it open. Get these restocked the best we can. We are stocking. Let's go. Yeah, I think I'm going to get up in the morning. Chuck my fishing stuff in the car. Go fishing, I think. It's being able to shut the tills down is quite good. I'll tell you what would be good if like you, you could multi multi skill your staff. Like, if you could have... If you shut their till, like, they go and help the restockers. So, like, I could close all my tills down before. And then they go and help restock the shelves and stuff. That'd be a great idea.
<laughs> yeah, so that you could like level them up and like give them skills and stuff. That'd be like fantastic. Oh, eggs. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Like, or even have like a little ta little scan gun that you go around and like scan it. Like, go around scan scan the the labels. Like beep beep, or scan the boxes. Like beep beep, and then order more that way. That'd be a good idea. Or even a tablet. So you could walk around and order it as you was walking around, like walk up, look at a shelf, go press a button, open the tablet, beep beep beep, and then like beep beep and order it that way, rather than keep running backwards and forwards to the computer. I also wish you could order more than 10 items. That would be a great idea. Being able to order, like, more stuff. Yeah, being able to order more than 10 items would be major. I haven't put the lights on. Huh. Oh yeah, the likes massively, massively help the channel. Thank you very, very much for all the likes. Massively help. Helps push it out to people that are similar interest to you. Right, so from here... People aren't complaining about the tills yet. At least another two. All right, so then we need Asta. One, two. We need flour. One, two. One, two, three, four. Cleaner. And yeah, we need cleaning products. That's what we're desperately sure of.
Being able to change the prices as well. <laughs> yeah, I could do a short to show my setup. Not a problem. Why did I remove that? That's stupid. They all, um... 12 packs. Yeah, all 12 packs. At the minute, my setup is a mess. I need, um completely ri strip my desk down and redo it all. And I'm actually... Thank you very much for the sub. Massively appreciated. Welcome to the channel. Is that... My, that is my plan for my, when I ever get there, 1,000 sub video uh, would be a full setup revamp. You know, like the whole setup makeover videos that everyone's doing. That, that was my plan for my, for like the... the Hitting 1,000 subs. Oh, we're making profit now. I've also uh, been experimenting with turning the latency down on the streams so that they're, they're more interactive so that I'm ripped like when your chats are coming through I'm quicker like the response that you're hearing isn't as delayed as what it has been previously. So yeah, that that that's something I want to make my setup better, as uh, so that I can do lower latency streams. Like I'm looking at doing a dual PC setup eventually. Is is like honestly the support on the channel has been insane. Like it genuinely has. And to watch like like you say to watch channel my size go from what it was to what it is now has been absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. It's it's so so quick. It. And hopefully it carries on. Like I'd, I'd love to. I've always said, like my my goal, like would to be to have that one hundred thousand subscriber plaque. I know, like it's a rare, rare thing to get a channel that big. 
And I know it's a long, long way off. Because I've not even hit the 1,000 subscriber yet. And I'm talking about 100,000. But that was always... To have that plaque to say I did that. To have that... To be able to... Leave that to my kids. And like my kids go, yeah, my dad did that. You, you know, that's... That's a feet and a half. Like that, that's always been my... Uh, <laughs> two percent of America's population would be mental. Two percent of Britain's population would be mental. <laughs> and Britain's a lot smaller. I mean, what what's population of Britain? Something like seventeen, sixty something million, I think. Something like that. Was it 17 million? 16 million? So to have 1% of that, so by that by 100. To have 6,000 people in here would be insane. <laughs> or 1,600 people in here would be insane, like, genuinely. Sixty seven million, that's what that's mental. Imagine having one percent of that. Let alone America, because what's America? 67 million, so 1%, 670,000. Because 10% would be 6.7. Yeah, so 670,000 people. Like, to have 670,000 views a month would be insane. Yeah, 670k. Imagine, like, I get 15,000 a month at the minute. So, to have 670, US is 380 million. Yeah, the US is a bit bigger than Britain, isn't it? <laughs> what, five times? Yeah, about five times the size. See, we can open this because we can close that. Yeah, but yeah, my average viewership at the minute is 15,000 a month, I think. And that's if I'm streaming a lot without missing any days. Whereas if I str don't stream a lot, Oh, yes, Pablo's Electric Boogaloo Sugar. 
The booger sugar. Uh, peanut butter. Speaking of that, I am actually still waiting for Drug Dealer Simulator 2's full release. Uh, I played the demo on the channel. I don't know if anyone's gone back and watched it, or anyone watched it at the time. It's a um, fantastic, fantastic game. Or did I even post it? I can't even remember if I posted it, you know. I'm sure I did. I'm sure I streamed it. But yeah, that that's uh that was a fantastic game. Number 1 was insane, like genuinely mad. Thank you very much for all the likes. Massively appreciated. Yeah, it's uh, waiting for Drug Dealer Simulator 2 to come out. The game looks absolutely mental. I've got some more plane accident to upload. Uh, what's the other one I've got to upload? There's some a couple, couple more videos that I've got recorded I need to upload. couple more simulator games coming up that look really really good uh fast food simulator that's on the wish list that's due this year uh that looks really good just f from flicking through there's oh my wish list is stacked actually thinking about it <laughs> but yeah my wish list is really stacked that's it's gonna be a mad year absolutely mad year <laughs> That's what she said. Supermarket. Oh, mate, I'm going to make time. Like, th th this year is going to be. I'm hammering YouTube this year in a big way. Um, yeah, it's, I'm definitely, definitely Didn't see the drug dealer one. I probably didn't upload it because I'm an idiot. I used to play a lot of drug dealer simulator one. Um, a long time ago. <laughs> That's very true. No, I've been really, really uh, 
I used to, I'm sure I played it on the channel. I'm going to have to check myself now. Let's have a look. Because I'll check through studio and I'll, um, Let me check for YouTube Studio. No, I didn't actually. I didn't upload one. I'm sure I, re I definitely recorded it though. DOS one back in the 90s. Yeah, there was drug uh, drug dealer simulator. I think I was on Twitch back then, actually, thinking about it. I'm sure I streamed the original drug dealer simulator to Twitch. I'm sure I upload, I recorded drug dealer simulator to gameplay. I don't know if I uploaded it. But yeah, it was a fantastic game. Really, really enjoyable, actually. Like, hiding from coppers and growing, like, setting up grows and making your own blends of drugs to try and uh, get people hooked. Like, it, it, was, it was good. I used to do, I used to mix all sorts. I used to grind up amphetamine and mix it in with the cocaine and I used to make some right lethal stuff. Yeah, I've seen the uh, Steam Deck. Back in the heyday, <laughs> back in the heyday, yeah, I was a, I was, I was a rave baby. Put it that way. I, I loved my raves. Yeah, I've seen the Steam Deck. It uh, looks really good, but um, I'm sure, is it Rog Strix are bringing out their own version, or Asus, Asus. I'm trying to think who's bringing out their own version, and apparently it's better. Well, I'll tell you a funny story. It's not really a funny story, but today I took my kid to a place called Fantasy Island um, in Skegness. It's like, like a bit of a theme park. Got a couple of roller coasters, log flumes, yada yada. We've got quite a few rides. And, like, just buy your wristbands, then you go on and off the rides as much as you want. It's got a massive pyramid in the middle. When I was growing up, in the rave days, that was known as Pleasure Dome. <laughs> that is a, had some raves there. Yeah, you used to go raving there a lot. There's been quite a few times when I've uh, woke up not remembering anything. I get no plane. Yeah, Pleasure Dome was uh, was good times. And trying to explain to my kids that it didn't always just used to be a theme park. Yeah, 
Yeah, there were, there were good times were had there. Very good times. <laughs> Yeah, that's where I was today. It was uh, somewhere where I used to rave. Oh, mate. I, I, there's so many... So many flashbacks back then, mate. From back then. Back then was good times. Good times. Back in the, the carefree, nothing bothered me days where money was not really an object and... I had no responsibilities. That was uh, the good days. Oh, yeah, definitely. There's... It don't seem... Ten, ten minutes ago, I was stomping a hole in the in the floor there, like... And then... Now I've got a kid that turns ten on Monday. <laughs> you know? Time goes too quick. It only seemed like 10 minutes ago I was... Yeah, that, that, that's it, mate. No kids, no bills, no, no worries, no stress. The, the, the only worries I had back then were... Which rave am I going to? You know, how am I getting there? How am I getting home? I didn't even used to really worry about getting home. It was just getting there. Like, if I got home, I got home. It was a bonus. Yeah, I was uh, back, back when it was good times. Very good times. There's less, less stigma as well then. Like, you could go out and not have 90% of the trouble that you get now. Nobody cared what you went out in, what you was dressed in, what you were doing. You could be in the corner in an absolute state and... Everybody you didn't nobody cared. You know, like oh I used to go to a place called Revolution and it was two floors and upstairs was like they used to have regular metal nights and things like that. But I'm a bit of a metal head as well. I love love a bit of thrash metal, love a bit of metal. And I'd be up there, mate, full on, like, no t-shirt, raving my nut off, and then be like, right, I'm off to the metal pit, boys, let's go. I'd be upstairs, bouncing my nut off in the in the metal room. It's absolutely wild. Nowadays, you go out and you just get nothing but aggro, nothing but trouble. Genuinely not worth it anymore.
Yeah, so world's a different place nowadays. Like today, we've 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 got on what are they like? Not kiddie coaster, but it's like not the the, the big roller coasters. And three three girls had jumped on without any wristbands. And they were trying to get them like get them off. And uh, because they got chucked off, they smashed all the safety thing on the gates. So they couldn't start the roller coaster. Like, it's mad. Like, you just, just can't do anything anymore. Need to get some more potatoes. Oh yeah, definitely is. Like you can't even go out for a drink now without like the risk of getting stabbed. Like just just for being there. Oh, and by the way, this update, I'm making so much more money. That is the thing, though. <laughs> Trying to give a name to all the different customers. Uh, that could be interesting. I tell you what, look, we're, we're making so much money though. I'm at like nine grand already. I'm nearly at ten grand. Making so much more money. Cool. I like the fact that I can now do that. Like, that's mad. Simple things. Like, genuinely. That has just made my day so much better. <laughs> Dude in the red shirt's Trevor. Can't beat Trevor. Jason Statham. <laughs> it's Jason. Right, we can't do any orders yet. Uh, Basmati Rice. Right, that's our order for tomorrow. Let's put some cheese away. Being able to pick up a couple of boxes would be so much better as well. Especially when they're like small little boxes like this, like in the butter. I did think you should definitely be able to pick up two. Oh yeah, definitely. Stuff like that. Like the 
the little updates that they can do would be brilliant. I mean, it's like Phasmophobia, right? That that game, I lo I enjoy that game, but I only now really play it for the um, updates, like the events, like uh, Easter, Christmas, Halloween, like stuff like that. Like that, they're the only times I play it now. I made like three grand profit. Take off. So if these had like updates at like Christmas and stuff, like it'd be it'd be quite cool. Give you a reason to return to it. Although I do think that they'll release a second, like a second version of it. I do think there will be, oh yeah, lights, huh? I'm always forgetting the lights. I'm going to buy three more for me to forget about as well. <laughs> That's bad. A bit late over there. There we go. <laughs> right, let's uh, get some of this put away. Yeah, having enough light to actually see would be lovely. I think that is one criticism I'd have with this game. The lighting effects are a bit meh. But maybe that will change drastically with the customization of light and effect, like of the lights and stuff. We might be able to get different lights that will have better light levels. That might be something that we get to look at in the future. I'm going to end up with a second storage room outside. Yeah, the change colour is annoying. Uh, definitely. I, th I think there's something that does need to be worked on is lighting. Like, I think the lighting... Leaves a lot to be desired, to be fair, but it might come with another update. So maybe we'll get different lighting in the customization, which will give us better lighting effects. Maybe there'll be some patches for the lighting and stuff. You never know.
Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, like, we'll be able to put some, like, vending machines out here or something, or some little fridges, or... Alright, we need to order coffees. Again, like being able to pick these up multiple at a time. I don't think that there'd be much of a difficulty in that in real life. So I think being able to pick it up in here is very reasonable. in here and we'll open that make sure this checkout says closed so we don't get hassled until later right so I am rinsed dry pretty much and I yeah I did um, I just think it's, I just end up with a big pile here then. I'm hoping they're soon going to put the restockers update in where they pick it up off the pavement. Uh, I think that'll be really, really good. Get them so that you just do the orders and they put everything away. Um, I think that'd be a great idea. But to have that in. Because let's be honest, when you do an order, it's just dropped on pallets out here and then your workers put them away on shelves and stuff. Cereals running low. Oh, the hand scanner would be fantastic. That'd help a lot, because then we could just, like, be a lot quicker to go around and just check your empty shelves. Yeah. 
Yeah, that'd be a fantastic idea. Really, really good idea for a mod. Um... Oh, I picked that up. <laughs> right. Potatoes. They sell loads, but God, they take up so much space. Potatoes. Right, let's get these on the shelf. Bang. Then as they're taken and we refill, we need sugar. Need one, two, one. Um, those are too full. Okay, I will jump on it. Help Q clear. Jason. Not really itchy eyes. Must be hay fever season again. Boom. Smashed it. Bobby, how's it going? No, the new update has been able to do this. Close your checkouts. Yeah, really handy. Like, when you're doing stuff, you can open and close your checkouts. And people will also moan about the length of your queues. So, that's another another new addition. Uh, they actually moan about that. Not actually sure what effect it has yet, but... And they prioritise empty tills as well. So if you've got a till empty, um, they'll go to that instead. Uh, and also, the higher your level, the more customers you get now. So it actually scales with the levels.
So yeah, it's a banging update. It's a really good update. That's something I have got to get. I have got to get a, a decent steering wheel. Uh, I was looking at the Logitech G23, I believe it was. Because I like stuff like a set of Corsa, um, a set of Corsa competitive zone, Gran Turismo. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, Forza. Yeah, they are very expensive. Very, very expensive. That is the only downside to them, is the price of them. WRC, I love a bit of WRC. Uh, what was the other one I was playing? There was another game I was playing. Oh, now, Euro Truck Simulator. It's another one. Right, I've got to take my jumper off. Back in two seconds. That's better. A little bit warm in my house. Yeah, that uh, a set course is really, really fun. Um, Project Cars Two. That was re really good. Um, that was really, really good. Project Cars 1, I first played at uh, Eurogamer Expo, uh, pre-release. Uh, and that was really, really good. Uh, I actually won a t-shirt. Oh, what else was there? Yeah, it was a... I won a t-shirt. Some... Project Cars swag. Uh, there was, like, like, it was a big goodie bag full of stuff. But that was Project Cars one. Ah, okay. Yeah, I was, uh, I'm sure it was a G23 I was looking at. It was like 300 and some pound from Curry's. But I've got other things I've got to pay for first. Yeah, see, I want the, uh, is it f what they call it, force feedback? So that it fights you. So like, as you're going into a corner, it'd naturally try and fight you back and things like that. No, not all of them have it. It's um, there's only. Oh, I'm sure. Is it direct drive? Yeah, you got direct drive. Uh, forced feedback. And what's the other one?
Yeah, the wrist breaker. So they, it, you could proper have to fight you as you come back ground. I think they're brilliant. Yeah, not all of them had it. There's um. Yeah, that's force feedback. It's uh, brilliant. Really, really good. Gives you more feel date to the car. Do you have the pedals as well, Bobby? Like, there's a couple of mods you can do to the pedals, and they, it proper changes your, the way it feels and the way that your pedals react. Nice. Yeah, like I say, there's a few mods you can do to the pedals to make them like a lot better. Yeah, I, was, I looked at the racing chairs. Uh, again, Curry's do one from by a company called ADX, which uh, the it looks quite cool actually. I mean, if I was uh, stupidly rich, I, I'd have the Scorpion chair with the. Uh, The surround sound and the, the steering wheel and stuff. Yeah, the, 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 as long as it does the job, mate. No matter how old it is. Still better than what I've got because I haven't got one. <laughs> but no, that, that, they are good fun. Playing with the steering wheel is so much better than controller. with hot sauce. Oh, mate, they, they are really cool. They are really cool. That they, They're so, so expensive, though. Like, so, so expensive. Yeah, I'm sure them scorpion chairs are, like, a couple of grand at least. Probably several YouTubers have uh, brought them and never used them properly. But have you seen the gaming beds that they've now started to put out? They're like a king size bed, but with part of a full setup. They're like they're mad. That's what I'm saying. Like it's got to be a few grand in it. Got to be a few grand. Twelve G, or you can do. Hang on, let me uh, let me find it.
Or like there's these ones. <laughs> like they're literally the bed with the setup built in. You're well smart. My kid's got an X-Rocker. But these ones are really cool with Japanese gaming beds. I think they're well smart. Oh yeah, they're well, well wicked. I like them. Yeah, I've uh, I've had X Rock. I'm sure is this one an X Rocker? No, my old um, my old chair was X Rocker, and that lasted ages. That that was really comfy. Uh, I've got an under seat now. It's not bad at all. Quite comfy. I fell asleep in it quite a few times, so it can't be uncomfortable. I really, really want a Secret Labs chair, but they're like up to £600. Like the top of the range ones. Stocking up is taking forever. <laughs> Literally taking forever now. Once they start putting it so the restockers refill the shelves, it'll be loads better. Right, there's that. Right, I'm going to have to call that there for tonight because I am very, very tired. And I know I started really late. I know I missed a, a good hour of the stream due to getting home really late. I also need to do full updates on my PC because I've got so many updates to do. I've got, game, I've got about 40 updates on Steam. It's ridiculous. <laughs> then I've got PC update. I've got graphics drivers updates. My OBS needs updating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah it's been fun I will be back tomorrow night though 110% back streaming tomorrow night from about 8pm UK time going to try and get a nice long one a uh, nice long stream tomorrow night now that we're at a good point where we can save and our restockers have finished restocking um, what we'll do we're going to fully restock our storeroom and then we're going to then make sure all that store has is completely stocked. Then we're going to take a look at getting the next expansion, if we can. I know it's uh, we got so many bills to pay. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, okay, there we go. That rinsed us. 
So, yeah, we're going to work on that. So, make sure to come join me tomorrow. Thank you for very much for all the likes, the subs, the chat, and joining me and sticking with me while I was late. So, much, much, much appreciated. And I will catch everyone later. Have a good one. Have a good Easter weekend. And, like I say, I'll be back streaming tomorrow night. Peace out.